So this is stuff you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece, of, um, actually it's like two pieces of fabric, like a front and a back. It's inside out right now, that's why it looks a little dull. Um, but you need a piece of fabric that is six by 10, a pair of scissors, these thin elastics since, like they're hair ties, they're really thin ones, but um, cause there's no elastic anywhere right now. And then a sewing machine. Okay, sorry for the weird setup of my grandma's house. So I'm trying here and the washer is also on. So you're gonna take your fabric that you cut, it's six inches wide, I mean, well, long, and then it's 10 inches this way. And you wanna make sure you're, you have two pieces. So it should look like this. So mine was on a corner, so it has um, a fold. So you wanna take this and you wanna actually iron it. So we're gonna go over that. Now that you have it ironed, it should look pretty good. And make sure it's inside out before you start. Okay, I know you guys can't see me, but I'll just show you what I'm doing. So like I said, have it inside out, put both pieces in, and you're just gonna sew around the perimeter. But make sure you leave. So you're gonna do the, actually you're not gonna do the perimeter. You're gonna go around here, the top one. And then when you get about a quarter of the way, um, you're gonna stop and you actually are gonna put your hair ties inside. So you're gonna take your hair tie and cut it in half like this. And then since this will be open, you're gonna open it a little bit and put it in like kind of backwards like that. So when you sew it and put it inside out, it will be the right way. So you just put it like that and you put that down and then you're just gonna sew right over it. And make sure you just go over the parts. to the corner you're just gonna lift up and turn it and go all the way down the long side and then you're gonna do the same thing on the short side that you did to the other side but make sure you leave a little opening so you can flip it inside out and I did put the hair tie inside as you guys can probably see the outline and I'm gonna sew it to about here so I have a little room to put it inside out okay as you guys see I have the face mask now and I left that little opening so you're just gonna Turn it technically right side out. So you're just gonna put it through. This takes a little bit because I leave a little hole because you have to um, you have to sew it shut afterwards. So I don't like. To okay, so when you put it inside out or right side out, it should look like this. Mine, I, I guess I didn't sew this one, so I just sewed it afterwards. But you're not gonna see it because you actually have to pleat it. So once you have it like this, you're gonna take your little open little hole where you had took it inside out and you could just sew that little piece. Okay, now that you sew that little piece, where is my- Oh, well, I had here. a rest, you know what I mean? I had fire. Yeah. You having a banana? Yeah, good. All right, well, grandpa's having a banana here. But now that you have it like uh, this, you are going to oh, iron it again. Is that okay, so now that you ironed that, you're gonna make the pleats. So you lay it down and you're just gonna fold it like, kind of like a fan. Hmm. Make sure it's even on both sides. So you have one, you just kind of hold it and then iron that down so you have a guide. I'll pay for good. And then you're gonna make one more pleat mm. going the same way. Mm. And I am that. And then this is what it should look like right now. Just back over to the sewing machine and you're gonna sew the pleats down. All right, and after you sew the pleats down, it should look like that. You just sew them a straight line across and I just double stitched it right here. I made a little uh, mistake there when I went backwards, but that's what it'll look like. 
And then you got a face mask and then the pleats are there and it opens up and then it'll go back. And if you want, when you're done too, you can iron it again. I usually do. I didn't yet, but yeah, that's how you make a face mask. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.